Alright, so um, I have this huge responsibility now, thanks to Bob, that if I don't make you happy tonight, I'm probably going to have to throw this away. So, I have a huge response. That's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. But I am a little trembling because of this nervousness. But uh, thank you for introducing me. And um, so, do we feel happier now? Six yeah. steps of happiness, kind of, yes? Yes, oh, I see a lot of smiles in this room. Great. That is awesome. But today, now, in the nine minutes I have, eight minutes I have left, I'm going to make you the happiest person on earth. So, my topic is dreams and goals, keys to empowering your potential. So, I think we all have some kind of goals or something we would like to achieve in our lives. And in the first chapter, uh, Yoshi from New Jersey talked about having a calm mind is one side of happiness, right? I'm going to be talking about the other one that he was talking about before that. The active happiness. The dynamic happiness. The happiness of achieving something that you want. Yes, I'm going to be aggressive on this topic. If I had the calm topic, I'd be more like... That's what I'll do. But this chapter, I got dynamic chapter. Dreams and goals. What I'm trying to say here is, you have to be passionate about going after that goal. So today, let me share you three sure ways to achieve your dreams and goals. Now the first way that is introduced in this book, Invitation to Happiness, is to write down your goals. So, uh, there was a research in the past at Harvard University, and it was a research to see the difference of the income of the future of the students. And what they asked was, do you have a dream or not? And did you write it down or not? 84% did not have a dream. 84% of the students at Harvard. That's kind of, yeah. Yeah, I mean, America, come on. That's why, that's why Happy Science is making Happy Science University. Everybody has a dream there. But anyway, 84% of the students at Harvard did not have dreams or goals. Bummer. 13% had dreams. Good job, guys. Good job, boys and girls. They had it. But they didn't write it down. So, whoever's good at the math, subtract that from 100%. Only 3% of the Harvard University students has written their goals. Wow! Now, a few decades later, so the research team, research team goes back to them and asks for their income. The difference is tremendous, gigantic. That 3% of the students' income put together was 10 times more of the income of the rest 97%. On Wall Street, you know how we had that problem of that 1% of attaining money? Kind of shows that. Probably the other 99% didn't have a dream or didn't write it down. Yes, happy science, we are about empowering yourself. Not to try to be mad at the government by walking down Wall Street with platforms saying only that 1% is making the money. No, 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 no. You guys didn't have goals and dreams to start with. I'm usually more of a nicer person, but it's this chapter that's making me very aggressive. <laughs> so, <laughs> please don't get me wrong. So that's the first step. Please write it down. The second step of achieving your goals. Now, this is my personal favorite. I want you to do this. Visualization. So, visualization has power. And visualization is like, it's like creating a picture in your mind. That ain't enough though. A picture is two dimensional. We gotta raise it up one more dimension. It's gotta be three dimensional. When you close your eyes and when you think about your dreams, it's gotta be three dimensional, realistic. But even more to that, there's a fourth dimension. We see those 4D movies now, right? You smell something, they blow air at you at the scary moments. 
That's what you need to do in your visualization. You have to be, you have to sense it. And the last part of this visualization, let me tell you, I'm so good at doing this, but be emotional about it. So this morning, um, to reveal the truth, the ministers, we got together at the temple right across the street from Robinson Stadium. We did a little rehearsal. And I kind of did the same talk, right? So I was talking about visualization. And I used an example of, all right, let's say, this is an example. Imagine that you're single. And if you're a guy, if you're single, visualize that beautiful wife that will be making good food for you every night. Be emotional about it. So I was doing this, right? So then after that, I come to PCC. We're spreading our flyers of this today's, um, today's session. <laughs> I meet this very beautiful young lady. <laughs> she just suddenly stopped. And we start, we just start strike the conversation for like five to ten minutes, and I see those ministers to the side, all done passing out their flyers, looking at me, giggling. I was like, why are you giggling? And then one of the guys are like, so visualization does work. <laughs> it does, ladies and gentlemen. Please believe in me. Be emotional about your visualizations. Alright, so the third step, the third step to be able to realize your dreams is... In this book, it tells you that, you know, you have to write down your goals, and there's actually pages in it where you can write it down. Ten years from now, five years from now, one year from now, use it. I mean, it's blank because I'm using a, uh, not my copy, but my copy it is written. Write it down, right? So that was the first stage. The second, it tells you that visualization is important. And the third step that this book tells you is use prayers. But, Happy Science will teach you how to make your prayers the most efficient. Prayers are power. Prayers help you become more than an individual human being in a physical body. Prayers will bring you to the height of the realm of saviors and God. Prayers it is a weapon that was given to each and every one of us. But how do we use it to the fullest? It comes from your self-awareness. How do you see yourself? If you see yourself as he that said from Toronto, if you see yourself as that true self, that volcano picture, that he found in himself. It's all in ourselves. If you awaken to that, our prayers, there's nothing that hinders you from getting your goals in our prayers. But then, what is that magma that is inside of us? How do we get into that? He said in Happy Science, we do many meditations in order to get into that. But what I would like to say today is, Become the mission itself. Your self-awareness has to turn into an energy with mission. He had a slide that said, we have a mission to save the world with the power of love. Because this earth, this earth is like a little bird with a broken wing. So we pray. We pray a lot. Our ancestors prayed. They prayed during the times of Cold War. They prayed the in the times of the Civil War. We prayed during the times of World War II. We prayed to God when there were religious wars going on. We prayed when there was famine. We prayed when we didn't have jobs or homes. And all of that is actually already realized because you are here in this room tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, let us awaken to your mission. This is what Happy Science will help you do. You are not Alejandria. You are the mission of God. You are not Salam. You are the mission of God. You, she is the mission of God. Once you awaken to this fact, every kind of goal will be open to you, and I assure you, but this can't be done 
for you to just listen to me. It has to be done with practice and persistence. And that is why the three of me's <laughs> are always welcoming you right across from Robinson Street. Our temple is like five minutes away, so please come there, and I would like to see you there. And um, that would be my speech tonight. Actually, I have a next speaker. Who is it? If you open your packets, our teacher, Master Yuhokal, he's going to be giving us a lecture called A World We Can Believe In. Now, he's still alive on Earth, and he's still giving us lectures daily. And the seven of us, there is a lot of wisdom in this hour and a half, starting from key. So much wisdom. This all does not come from us. It all comes from Master Yohokawa and his subconsciousness, Lord Alcantara. It comes from that source. And I want you to hear his voice with your ears when you can. That is why I invite you to the most sublime type of happiness, which can be only achieved in happy science. Hope to see you there. Thank you very much. <laughs>